Okay, now we're going to talk about the different kinds of stepper units and what some things you may not think are stepper units but really are. Remember there's basically three kinds of stepper units, continuous rotation, total reset, and single step or increment decrement units. We're going to talk about each one of the different classifications of steppers. So first we're going to start with a continuous rotation stepper. That's like a unit like this where there's only one coil and it advances the unit and it just keeps going around in a circle. There's no way for it to backtrack. Or if you want to look at it from this side, it just keeps going around. Now another thing that you may not think is really a continuous stepper, and it is, is a score reel. This is just a score reel. Again, this is out of a Chicago coin. Much like the other unit we just showed, it just keeps going around in circles. Okay. Here's the same thing with the plastic reel removed. Gottlieb made these really small ones called AS relays. And this is a continuous stepper. Again, this changes features and is used for match. Um, it's kind of a cute little thing, exceedingly small and difficult to work on, but uh, at least it comes out of the game with connectors. The last kind of continuous stepper I like to show you is a motorized version of that. This one just keeps spinning around via a motor on the back. Again, this was used for the flash unit on a, uh, on a bowler, and then this little relay just is kind of like a brake, essentially, is how this, this works. But this is a motorized continuous stepper. Total reset steppers. These are pretty common, too. Um, basically, the way this works is you've got two coils, one that advances the unit and one that resets it back to a home position. Now this one kind of exemplifies what's typically wrong with a stepper, and that's it's real sluggish. Like see, when I try and advance this, it goes very slowly or not at all. It's having problems. This is really the main problem that you're going to see on steppers. And then when you go to reset it, it doesn't spring back. Here, I'll, I will manually pull it back but it doesn't go back to its home position. So you can kind of see that it's, that it's having problems. And here's the, the, the uh, rotating side of it where you can see the rotating disc going across uh, the little brass rivets. Here's a valley version of a total reset stepper. This one works a lot better. It is advancing, just like you would hope, and then it resets. So advance, total reset. Single step advance, total reset. The last one that I've got here for an example is in, a Got in Gottlieb games. This is a playfield mounted stepper. A lot of people don't consider it a stepper, but it really is. It's a, um, a very target. So on the playfield, what happens is, is you take a shot and the ball hits this target here, sends it back a certain distance, anywhere from maybe a thousand points to five thousand points. It scores and then it resets the stepper all the way back. So this is a total reset, but instead of having a solenoid advance it, the mechanical ball action hitting the face of the roto or the uh, very target causes it to uh, move back and then the relay coil here just makes it reset. Pretty neat little device. This is uh, again something that Gottlieb came up with. Okay, so this one is Chicago Coin again, and you can see it advances or it tries. It is actually working pretty good. And then when it gets to uh, a certain point, the game wants to bring it down, it brings it down one step at a time. This was actually a strike spare unit out of a Chicago Coin ball bowler. So advance, and then decrement, all in single steps. Here is one out of a Gottlieb, same deal advance a single step, and then decrement a single step. Another thing that's a single step that a lot of people don't, don't think about as being a single step are credit units. This is a credit unit out of a Gottlieb. Uh, you can see right there is zero credits, and then as the game wins, wins, you get replays, and it brings it up. 
and then as you play a game, it decrements and takes them off. This one is real sticky. It's having a hard time moving. Look at that. It's kind of doing it. Actually, as I work it more, the grease frees up and it's working a little better. The, uh, the decrement down is not working so well. And what happens on these credit units is the pivot points, like here, real typically freeze up from old grease solidifying.